Good morning. Welcome to Blue Rock Adventures. This morning we wanted to talk to you a little bit about why we chose a Ponga. Uh, we know a lot of you have watched our videos on the Ponga build and now we wanted to tell you some of the main reasons why we did it and what we're happy about and maybe some of the things that we might have done a little bit different. So thanks for joining us. So one of the things that we like about the, the Panga is the ease of care. Uh, it takes us about 20 minutes to clean it up and put everything away. Uh, there's not a lot of nooks and crannies that we have to worry about. Very simple, so we're really happy about that. Another thing that we like about the Panga is the size. Uh, when we built it, uh, we were thinking of just the two of us fishing. Uh, and it just works perfect. We had brought in another friend of us that you have, guys have seen in some of the, our other videos and it works really good but it's just perfect for the two of us. We have plenty of room to move around. We have enough space to put all our gear and all our extra cameras and shoes and everything else uh, without getting in the way, without you know having to move things out of the way for us. So that's another thing that we're really happy about. Okay. So one of the great things about a Ponga and the, one of the main reasons why I wanted the Ponga was for the economy of renting a Ponga. I wanted to be able to go fishing whenever we want and I wanted it to be cheap, right? I don't want to spend all our money on gasoline. So we just, this is a 24 foot Ponga and we just have a 90 horsepower Suzuki motor here and we're getting about seven miles to the gallon, if you can believe that. We can go about 70 or 75 miles on about 10 gallons of fuel. So that just works out so great for us. Uh, most days we spend about $40 for a, a whole day of fishing, all we want to do. And, and that's just perfect. That was the budget that we hoped for. And because of the flat bottom design of this and how it rides over the water, it's just super efficient and one of my absolute favorite things about a Ponga. As I said, the uh, Ponga is 24 feet and I think the beam is right about six feet wide. And you know, it's not as stable as a boat with a eight and a half foot beam on it, but you know what, it's plenty stable for my wife and I. Uh, it, it rides really nice in the water and then it's stable when we're fishing. The two of us can lean over one side and I think it's just the right balance of length and width and and it, it just offers a stable platform for us which was really important to me I, I didn't want anything that rocked and rolled too much and and the ponga's done that uh, another one of the big advantages of a ponga is the trailering and the ability to launch from the beach which we'll show you today but you know trailering it feels like nothing behind my ford f-250 i barely know the tra the boat is there and that's really nice a uh, good fuel economy with the truck too because this boat is just not heavy. I think everything with the trailer and everything is about uh, 2,000 pounds total. And being able to launch from beaches where it's a free launch and we can travel by truck, you know, to where we get closer to where we want to be and have to do less in the boat is just working out just great. Uh, we did that this morning and it worked out great. Another thing that I really like about the Ponga is the simplicity of the Ponga. You know, there's not a lot of systems on here. It's a pretty basic boat. We do have a live well. We have our fish finder. Uh, you know, we have our radio, but you know, there's not a lot of electronics on board and there's just not a lot of things that can go wrong in the first place. And if there are things that go wrong, it's pretty easy to fix. Things are easy to access. I have room for all my tools and extra parts and everything that I want to take. I mean, basically the whole bow of the boat is available for storage and, and we don't even use most of it. So, you know, that, that gives me a peace of mind knowing that the, the thing is simple and that I could fix any minor issues even out on the water if I had to. And, and I think that that's one of the wonderful things about a, a, a Ponga is it's just how simple and easy it is to work on. I wanted to talk to you about the performance of our 24 foot Ponga and our Suzuki DF90 90 horsepower engine because you might be interested, right? 
So when we're fully loaded, that's about 40 gallons of gas. We could even have the live well full and two to three people on board. We can cruise at about uh, 27 miles an hour at 4,500 RPM, which is the most economical uh, way to cruise. So 27 is about what we get, 27 miles per hour. And then when we're trolling, if we troll at about 1,500 RPM, our trolling speed is about seven miles an hour. And if we troll at 2,000 RPMs, I think we're doing somewhere between eight and 10, depending on the water conditions. So anyway, that kind of tells you a little bit about the uh, speed and performance of our combination here. I hope that helps in making your decision if a Ponga is right for you. So I think the last thing that I wanted to tell you was that one of the great things about a Ponga is that you know, we, it was economical to build, it's economical to operate, and it's kind of a tough boat. You know, it's all fiberglass basically and painted, and you don't really have to worry about a Ponga like you would, you know, your 50 or 60 or 70 or $100,000 center console boat. You know, we, we have less than $25,000 into this, and half of that is in the engine, right? The Suzuki 90 motor. So, you know, you, you're not breaking the bank with a Ponga, and then they're tough and durable, and if it gets a little scratch or somebody bumps you in the marina, it doesn't ruin your day. And, you know, that's also important because I, I don't want to worry about my boat. I want to use it, and I want to fish out of it, and I want to have fun out of it. So, anyway, that's most of the things that we can think of, uh, why we built the Ponga, why we like the Ponga, and why we'd recommend it for just about anybody, especially, you know, if you're kind of a budget fisherman, you want something easy to launch, and you want something super economical, you hardly can beat it. So thanks for joining us. We really appreciate you watching. If you like this video, we'd love to, you to let us know by giving it a like and subscribing to the channel. Have a great day.